Okay, so uh, if you're not completely tired of <laughs> me going over Assault Meliodas teams by now, uh, we're going to be looking at Esterosa, and normally I guess other people run him with Blue Droll. Um, Droll is really nice, uh, and it might be the better option, but I kind of wanted to mess around with Dairy a little bit because she can remove buffs, which is really nice. And uh, I don't know, the only downside is that we're not going to be able to get um, sort of the, the buffs out on them using Droll's Commandment, so that way we can take advantage with uh, Meliodas' AoE attack. So I may end up swapping that at some point, but uh, we should have double taunt, so I don't know. We'll try it out, though. Okay, so we have the normal team. <laughs> we go against it pretty much every day. Let's see how this goes. We have double Esterosa card. Kind of tempted to see where this goes. Obviously, we do have two taunts. He's probably going to try to hit Meliodas first turn here. Uh, the only thing that kind of sucks is that we're not going to be able to use... Um, the commandment really like all that well for Derriere here. The only time it would really come in like handy was uh, pretty much with uh, like going against the Sariel team because hers like nerfs uh, ranged attacks, I think it is. So, yeah, we're gonna do this. That'll actually give him debuff immunity, which will purge this, and we'll have his ult. Um, and then I think we'll just move a card here. Although we can't, like, rush anything with Melly, really. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of expecting him to be able to take him out pretty easily there. Okay, boom. Alright. We survived. We're okay. We're not in the worst position I've ever been in. Only problem is we don't have any, but like we don't, they don't have buffs, so we can't really do anything about the AOE damage here. Luckily, he doesn't have any sort of ults or anything, and he's not going to be able to take off our ult gauge right now because uh, even if he tries to stun, Derriere can get rid of that. So we should have Melly's ult completely uncontested here. Let's just see how he plays this. I'm really interested because he, he's already used up his good Escanor cards. He shouldn't have anything else crazy in hand. Uh, probably going for shield here. Yeah. Which luckily this uh, it's not really going to do anything crazy against uh, what we already have. So we're pretty much just going to be able to run rampant right here. Like although it's a level two shield. Um, it stops additional effects or whatever on like skill cards, but his ultimate in general just uh, it doesn't do anything extra It just gives him buffs to make it hit harder. So it can't really negate that So that was uh, pretty good That should pretty much guarantee us the win uh, Gother is super low on damage or HP and he had red Grimoire. I have not seen red Grimoire in a really really long time. So that's actually very cool <laughs> I'm super happy to see the man out on the field All right, so I Mean there's really not a whole lot to do here just in case this doesn't kill, this should pretty much end the whole match here. Well, I don't know if Zeldris will heal here, actually. Yeah. Oh, well. Either way, he'll probably end up leaving. So we're just going to go ahead and next match, so that way you guys don't have to see me beat up poor Grim more. Uh, yeah, so... Okay. Okay, what do we got? Pretty much the same thing. The only thing about this team is that you don't have... On first turn, you don't have the greatest survivability. So it's probably best to run like CC food or something like that to try to go first so that way you can like keep your taunts up and everything. But uh, I don't know. I've had pretty decent luck with not getting completely destroyed by Escanor first turn. So uh, I guess we're just gonna keep up that trend and see how it goes. We could rush um, the ult again with 
Estorosa, and I think we might do that. Because he put on quite a... He, that was a pretty big dissolve that he put on. So just to kind of force his hand and make him go for Estorosa, uh, I think we're just going to do that. Because we've got decent cards in hand. It, even if he goes for Estorosa and he starts hitting him, uh, there's not a whole lot... Like, it's just going to feed us buffs and everything, so this is pretty decent. I actually kind of like that as a... As like a backup strategy, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, we really don't have to do anything here. Uh, obviously, he does have a Dissolve on us. So that kind of sucks, but... I mean, what are you going to do? So he can't... Can't do anything this turn which is not the biggest deal puts up a shield understandable okay so he's actually playing it pretty smart obviously I don't really need to do anything crazy here mm. I'd like to try to get a little bit of damage out on Escanor here so I think we're just gonna throw out some of these cards. I'm really interested to see how this one goes. Cause he's gonna ult here, it's gonna remove my ult gauge, not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, but the problem is, is he's probably gonna be able to get Liz's ult as well. Which is just gonna make for a really bad time. And he's keeping he's keeping the, the dissolves up on me, which is pretty unfortunate. Okay, so he still didn't ult for some reason. I think I think people are playing it really smart with the uh, the whole um, saving the Gother ult for when Melee has his ultimate gauge full. Like, that is honestly, uh, like, a really smart play. Because it's probably the best time to use it. So, I don't know. He's probably gonna throw out... I would imagine he probably uses both ults here. Like, he's gotta take off my ult, or else Melee's gonna be able to go ham. So, let's see. He's probably... I, I think this is his, like, all-out turn. I think he's gonna end up using pretty much everything. Or not? Okay, he kept Esther or he kept Eskinor's ult as well. Okay, he didn't even have King as an association for some reason. Not really sure why. Um, I think we go for this, and then maybe this, and then. We don't have any taunts either. That really sucks. I think we've lost this one, unfortunately. Mm. No. <laughs> I think maybe if we would use the other es Esterosa card, we could have killed him, but... Damn. That sucks. So, yeah. I think we've lost here. Um, I'm just going to say next match... Just to be safe, because I'm pretty sure we've we've done it. Okay, what do we got? Mm, okay, a little bit more interesting. He's got Derriere. So that's kind of cool. Luckily, he won't be able to take off um, Estorosa's taunt, because it's, it's a yellow buff. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so we'll throw that out. I think we'll merge these. And then... I think we'll move this. Because this way, he's going to have to hit Estorosa. No matter what. He can't take off that buff. And then... We'll be able to taunt and then ultimate anybody we need 
Let's see how this goes. Okay, that was a smart play. Um, so honestly... <laughs> I pretty much have to go for... Hmm, this is a tough call. I think we just go for Derriere. It's not going to do much, though, because he has a revive. Why did that hit? Oh, I didn't target her. All right. <laughs> I think he's bested me here. I don't think there's much I can do now. Yeah. Cancels my butt or my taunt. And then he just gets rid of Melly. That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Droll, I think. Uh, even though there wasn't anything Droll was gonna be able to do better than Derry there. Uh, I just think uh, I kinda wanna mess around and see if Droll might be a better option. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we're actually fighting another AM team, Assault Melee. Um, hmm. He has the revive though, which is going to be a little interesting. I kind of wish I would have had Derry now, uh, so that's a little unfortunate. But uh... I think we're just going to rush this ult real quick. See how we go with that. And we're pretty much, I guess we're just going to kind of keep that in hand until he has something worth using it against. Okay, I was about to say, if that gives Melly buffs, that would be really, really bad. Okay, um... Can't do a whole lot here. I guess we're gonna move this to the front just in case we merge. We merged. Okay, so we can pretty much pop it this turn. I don't really know what he's doing. Maybe he understands what's happening here, and he's not going to be able to do much against it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a double hit here. And then we're going to pop the Esterosa ult. God, deleted! Fantastic. Boom. Nice. Okay, he's going to pull the ult here. He can't really do anything against us. Uh, this actually worked out pretty well. I'm actually kind of kind of impressed. Which, I mean, obviously it's his fault for playing into it. But, I mean, what are you going to do? That killed Melly by itself. Alright, and I guess we'll just uh, go in. So that was, I guess that was like best case scenario maybe. I really, I don't think a lot of people are going to do that, but hey, that was cool, I guess. Okay, what do we got? Um, okay, so he doesn't have Liz up front, which is good. Uh, we have the first turn Melly ult, which is good. All right, let's see it. Looks like he's... He's probably going to put on the Dissolve, because why wouldn't he? Yeah, okay, unfortunate. We're not going to be able to get the first turn melee ult, but it is what it is. Uh, we do have a lot of buffs already, though. I kind of want to... <laughs> I'm going to hit him with that. Just to kind of free up some hand space too. Plus we have a decent amount of buffs, why not? 
pretty good. <laughs> uh, and he's probably not going to be able to use his flood card very well there now. And if he hits us any this turn, we're just going to get more buffs, and I, <laughs> I now have more amplified cards to hit him with. So, honestly, I'm thinking we probably just don't even... Uh, I don't even know if we should taunt this turn. I think we should maybe just go for straight up attacks with melee. Because we'll be able to kill Esther, or we'll be able to kill Escanor now with, uh, with a AoE most likely. Ooh, maybe not. Um, we're fine either way. And this will merge into a petrification, so that's kind of cool, too. All right, well, um, I think he just kind of played that bad. If he would have just held on to some of his cards more instead of pushing so hard, I wouldn't have had as many buffs as I had. So, unfortunate for him. But uh, I think that's the last match. Yeah, I think he just forfeit. Okay, so, consensus. Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell who was better for the actual team, whether or not it was Derriere or Droll. I think Droll just had a better lineup against, uh, like, I think we just had a better lineup of enemies when we were using Droll. Um, so I think you could use either one. Droll probably is going to help a little bit more as far as AoE damage goes with Meliodas, uh, which is going to be kind of a big factor. Um, and then again, uh, Derriere's commandment is really only going to be good against, like, Sariel. So there's really not a whole lot of use there, I guess. Like, she can remove buffs, and she does have a taunt, so that is very good. But I think Droll is probably the winner there as far as, like, who you should use instead. Um, Esterosa is pretty good. If they're running Derriere, they cannot remove his taunt because his uh, taunt cards are, like, his taunt buffs are yellow instead of blue. I don't know why that matters uh, as far as, like, game mechanics goes, but you can't remove those, so uh, that's nice. And, um... Honestly, and like, I mean, you just run ult food, or ult, yeah, you run ult gauge food, and as long as they don't clap you first turn, uh, you're pretty much good to go. Obviously, you may want to run CC food instead because, you know, obviously survivability and all that. But uh, I don't know, kind of impressed, honestly. Like, I wasn't really sure if Esterosa was going to be actually good on the team or not, but uh, I think he pulled his weight. I think he did a pretty good job. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you there.